Hiker Jay here. If you know me at all, you know that I love to vlog with a GoPro. And the GoPro 5, 6, and 7 added this crazy wonky adapter for microphones, and it was really hard to deal with. But then this came out, the V2, and I did a review on this, and it was awesome. But they, it lacked a couple things, and they have listened to us in the comments when I did this video. You listed several things that it still needed, and Ulanzi is a company that listened to you, and they made this V2 Pro. So they added the things that were lacking the most. Before we get into the video, if this is the first time on my channel, if you could hit like, subscribe, and also hit that little bell so you get notifications. I put out new videos every Thursday about outdoor gear and such. And as always, the links to all the products are down below in the description for this video. Now before I get into this video, full disclosure, Ulanzi did send this to me for free to test out and try and to keep. They are not paying me to do this video, but I did want to share that they did send this to me uh, for free. So I wanted to give that for full disclosure. As you all know, I love using GoPro as a vlogging system when you're out in the wilderness or out and about. It's so small, so nicely contained, but when they added this adapter when GoPro 5, six and seven came out, um, it was a pain to work with. So I really love these adapters like this one here. Um, I did do a full review on it on the original one. You can check that out here up on the left. But what we're really here for is to check out all the new features they have in the V2 Pro. So let's open this up and get into it. So let's start with the actual camera case itself. I'll put the pieces together as we go along. So you have the camera in the top and then you slide your adapter down here. I can already tell they made a couple changes. Like for instance, it's a regular old camera mount, thread mount, where on this one it was the GoPro mount. I'm not sure why they changed that, but um, it's it, it will work on any camera system that you can thread it onto. So that, that's a change that I see here. Um, you click this little button on the side and the back piece opens up. And that's how we actually put the GoPro in. Now one thing to know if this is the first time you've watched one of these videos is you will have to take this box off the side, the, the, the cover off the side of your camera here because you won't be able to get to plug your microphone in. So it just opens up and then you lift it about that, about that far and then you pop it out. Not a big deal, it pops right back in. The only thing is it doesn't you know, allow your camera to be waterproof when it's in the system. So let's take this, slide it in there, jiggle test. Not jiggling at all, hold nice and tight. Now this case has all the obvious cutouts over here for you to be able to plug your microphone in to charge it, uh, the record button, your mode button on the side, and of course you can see the full screen on the back and the front. And it has the cold shoe on the top. But let's see how this goes in. Now one thing that I did realize if you watched my original video on the, the original one, um, I wasn't sure how the cable plugged into the side because it kind of, when you plugged it in, it could torque it and mess with it. So they did actually put instructions on there too of actually how to turn the cable the right way and then plug it in so that it doesn't put added stress on the port on your GoPro. So that, that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. That was a good addition. So let's thread this guy through. Slide it in, it's just a snug fit. So on the original one, I was trying to plug it in like that, but you can tell that it puts a lot of stress on these corner points. So they actually tell you on the instructions now that you kind of spin it, turn it, and then plug it in. And it uh, it's a lot less stress on those two points and you have enough curve there that it, it's all good to go. So now this is the case as it originally was with the original version where you had your camera in and the holder for the microphone adapter. Now the first thing they've added is a filter mount. Um, this was something that people definitely missed because if you've ever watched some of my other videos with GoPro for so long, I've been just using an aluminum housing. Um, I have some videos on that. I'll, I'll put them up here on the left. You can check them out. But they always had a filter option that you could thread in. Now this is a 52 millimeter filter. Um, and what's nice about that is you can put a UV filter on. Uh, you can do different filters for different colors and such. And now they've got it on there and it just snaps on and holds pretty nice. Um, you could always put one to put a, like a, a shade on it as well. But um, they did add that, which was funny because that was like one of the first comments was that it won't hold the filter at all. So it just snaps on in one side and the other. So that's pretty functional. I like that. Another thing they did was add a cover for the lens because when this is on here, I'm not sure how you can see, it's really close to the edge. So you can now snap that cover on there. And I know you don't have to have a cover because the GoPro lens, the, the front lens cover, a lot of people don't realize it will spin off and come off and you can add another one if you ever, if you ever get scratched. 
but if you can save the money and not scratch it, especially in the wilderness, if this is being thrown, you know, in the back of your Jeep or in your backpack, to have that covering the lens is actually pretty great. So that's, that's a really good addition. So we've got the, the filter ring, the cover. Now the other problem with this is that there's only one cold shoe mount. And when you're out in the wilderness and you're filming, of course you have your microphone. This is my favorite microphone in the whole wide world, the Rode Micro. And it plugs in down here into our adapter. You can clip it off to the side here so it doesn't jiggle so much. So now we've got the microphone on the one cold shoe that's here. The problem is if you want a light and say you're, especially in the wilderness, you're, you're cooking dinner late or you're in a tent, you need a little bit of light. And a light like this is perfect. It dims and brightens and it just, it just gives, it's perfect for it. But there's no place to actually hook it on. So what they did was they came up with this adapter and it goes off to the side and at first, I was like, I kind of would like my light somewhere closer, but I, I find that it's not bad to be off to the side when I hold, when I'm vlogging, I'm holding usually like here. And then with the light here, it's not bad because it's giving this side of me. So it's, I think that having an arm isn't a bad option. So it threads in. Uh, this is why they didn't use the regular GoPro mount. Uh, is because they had to have this that screw threads on just like any other camera and you could use this with every, any camera system I'm sure too. this arm and then now Thread our light on and then you've got your system and it does look like you could thread in in the middle or back on top of this one here You could thread too. So I'm gonna grab this Chuck from my tripod. I just want to see If it will thread in the middle because that's kind of nice if it will to any of these points so that you can center it. So now that it's mounted on and I've got the chuck for my tripod in here, you can see that you can put it at any angle. So if you wanted to balance a little bit, if you had something more heavier, like the camera's heavier on this side, you could do it that way. I just centered it. So let's see what it's like on the tripod. There you go, slide it right on. And now, it's centrally mounted. That's not bad. I really like it. It's now for me. I don't always use a tripod like this. I usually use a grip and I only have the GoPro styled ones, but there's tons of grips out there. Actually, Yolanzi makes one um, that would grip and hold as well too. So um, I'll probably have to get a mini grip that works off of a regular camera. That's not a big deal because I actually have the new Canon M50 and that's the same thing. It mounts into just a regular tripod. So I need a grip anyway, like a Joby or something like that but I can see how this is pretty nice. I like how balanced it is, and I like the fact that you can hook it in. I like the fact that you can hook it in right here or anywhere on these points to balance it out. That, that is pretty cool. I think when I use a grip, I will probably mount it a little bit more this way so that it's a little more balanced. I really think that this upgraded GoPro case is excellent. I love that they put a filter mount on it and that they have the light option. They really listened to us and said, okay, we can make it better and they've done that. So now I'm really happy with it. Let me know, do you think they've made the changes that get you to purchase it now and use it on a regular basis? Uh, put it down in the comments. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike. So hike happy with a wicked sweet GoPro system.